Hi everyone, so welcome to today's video. We are trying out some new makeup products. I've gotten a couple things recently that I have gotten in the mail from orders that I've placed online and just doing some online shopping. <laughs> so I wanted to try some of these things on camera with you and sort of figure out whether or not they're good. Some things have been on my list of products that I've been wanting to try for a very long time and I'm sort of coming around to my list and kind of circling back to um, some brands that I used to really be a big fan of and use a lot of products. So we're going to be trying out some products from Flower Beauty, which are new to me. Um, some Tarte, let's see what else, Charlotte Tilbury, and just a couple of other things um, that I wanted to include in this video. So I'm coming at you with no makeup on. I also have a new vanity mirror with lights all the way around it. So I'm trying to kind of figure out what color temperature is the best for these lights that works with my camera. So we're going to kind of adjust it as we go. We're going to start with the face. Um, the first thing that I'm going to use is the Tarte BB Tinted Treatment Primer with SPF of 30. Now this I got because I wanted to find a BB cream that I could use in place of foundation for every day when I wanted to do something quick just to kind of look a little bit more put together like today for example and not necessarily reach for foundation. Now I'm not sure what the coverage is like on this. I have not used this yet but from the reviews that I have read some people have been saying that it actually does have the coverage of a BBCC cream type product. Even though it says primer in the name, it's more of a BB type product. And um, it says 12 hour primer, buildable coverage, oil free, pore minimizer, skin brightener. And I have it in the shade light. And it comes sealed, which is really great. Hopefully it doesn't bust. As things tend to happen um, with things or products that are sealed. Whoa, yep. See that? It just busted everywhere. And that's what happens when things are shipped to high altitudes. <laughs> so I just literally wasted a ton of product. Like, no joke. Eek. All right, so let's, oh man. I'm gonna have to set it like this upright um, to see if I can get the product to kind of go back down because it literally just busted everywhere. I have it all over my, <laughs> my makeup table. All right, so I'm going to go in. I have only moisturizer on, have my damp beauty sponge, and I'm just going to work off of this chunk because that's a lot. And like I said, I'm not sure what the coverage or the feel is going to be like, so we're going to start in the, my forehead area. And, ooh, that might be a little dark. Maybe not. Let's see. Well, I guess it's not too, too bad when I blend it in. Oh my word. Okay. <sighs> oh, what in the actual. <clears throat> okay, so the texture is very moussey. Mm. And the fair just looked so incredibly light that I thought, mm, let me just go with the light. And I ordered this from Sephora during the VIB sale. And I just got it in the mail like last week. Ugh, significant delays. Mm -mm. Well, if we can get past that color, which is coming off a little orange. I think it'll be okay if I put foundation over it, but it defeats the point of why I ordered this product to begin with. Um, and as far as coverage, it doesn't cover my imperfections. I mean, everything looks a little bit more smooth, but I don't know. Not I'm digging this. All right, so I have just applied a layer of my Revlon Candid uh, Foundation in the shade Creme Brulee, and I feel like it helped a little bit. I don't know, maybe the lighting and the shadows is making my face look darker. We'll have to see, because I'm gonna go outside today. Um, my husband put up a trampoline in the back, so I'll be able to tell. I'm really bummed about that, because I was really 
pumped for that product because of the reviews and people saying that they could use it in place of a BB cream that it actually provided coverage even though it's a, a primer. But honestly, for me, the tone is just no. <clears throat> like, absolutely not. All right, so I have a little bit of extra coverage on the areas that I have some issues with just some hyperpigmentation from breakouts and then this one that's kind of fading and going away, this blemish that um, seems to think it's welcomed. <laughs> it's not. So moving on to concealer, I have two different things. The Flower Beauty one, this is the Light Illusion in the shade Fair. And then I also have the Charlotte Tilbury, um, this is the Under Eye Brightener. And when you look at it, the Charlotte Tilbury, it almost looks like it's a powder product because it has, I don't want to say a quilted look, but it just looks like it's powder, but it's actually a cream product and I'm really excited to try this and I have this in the shade number one fair as well. Alright so I'm going to use a concealer brush. This is the concealer buffer brush number 142 from Zoeva that I've had for years and I'm going to pick up a little bit of that Charlotte Tilbury and this was also something that I picked up during the VIP sale. So I'm going to do a little bit. Oh, that seems nice. I think I'm just going to kind of dab it here. Yeah let's do that. And then I'm going to blend it in with the pointed side of my beauty sponge. And I'm using a brush because I feel like I'm going to pick up just enough product. Oh wow, that's actually really nice. Like that just completely canceled out anything that I had going on in that area. And do this outer corner. Sometimes I get a little bit of redness there. And that just completely knocked out any of those dark circles I've been staying up late. And you can kind of tell. Plus, I've been heavily caffeinated these days. You can also tell. <laughs> oh, wow. That's actually really nice. And I like the fact that it comes with a little mirror as well. I can see myself just using this color corrector just in the mornings, part of my skincare routine, just to kind of brighten the eye. I feel like the shade Fair is pretty perfect, and I do like that. That's a really nice brightener. Pretty pricey, I would say. That's why I got it during the VIB sale, but I do think it's really nice. Like, I don't even think I need to go with concealer over that. Like, what? Okay, so I think I might try just a little bit of this. I just, I honestly would be totally fine with just the Charlotte Tilbury. I kind of wanted to just leave it as is but I did pick this up and we are trying new products so this is the full coverage concealer full coverage is so different for each brand it has a doe foot applicator so we're gonna see I'm gonna do just like a dot here and here and then again blend it out with my beauty sponge and see well that's kind of brightening and nice I, I feel like I don't really need that much like with that color corrector from Charlotte Tilbury if you have a color corrector that you like, it doesn't have to be this one, but just any one, it helps kind of cancel things out so you use less concealer. And I find that that is actually quite helpful. It's an extra step, but I feel like it's a thin layer of product, cancel out and kind of create a blank canvas so that I use less product, which I think is a good thing. So yeah, I do like this. I feel like I can't really gauge the coverage because I have this underneath, so maybe I should have just waited for this for a different video just solely to use this only, but I, I wanted to use both. I couldn't help myself. So now I think I'm going to set everything with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powder in the shade Nude. I don't really know if it's a good idea to do this over my whole face. I don't know if this provides coverage or not. Um, we'll have to see. Maybe it doesn't. It doesn't pick up too too much. I guess it's just more of like um, just lightly kind of setting everything. So we'll just go over like the T-zone with a little bit of this and see. How this works. I'll set this here. And then I'm going to take my sponge and just kind of pick up a little bit of that. I don't know if that's going to be a good idea and go underneath the eyes oh, yeah. I mean I can't really tell that I have the powder on which is nice I think that's a good thing um, because you kind of don't want to look powdery I feel like I'm wearing a lot of layers just because I have a lot of stuff on my face so 
for bronzer, I think I'm going to go very, very minimal. I, I ordered a mini physician's formula butter bronzer. It's downstairs. It literally is the size of an eyeshadow and it was $6 off of Target. It's a joke. Um, it looked like the original size, but just much more scaled down. And I was like prepared for different packaging, but it is extremely cheap packaging. So I'm not going downstairs to grab it. I'm just going to use my Fenty because it's right here. And I'm um, going to use the same e.l.f. complexion brush, which is really great. Okay, I'm going to go in with some Fenty eye primer just to kind of set my lids because I'm going to use um, a cream product today. Now, I don't have anything new for brows, so I'm going to use just like my normal go-to stuff for brow products that I've talked about before, like my Revlon pencil, uh, tinted brow gel, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do that off camera, and then I will be back. All right, so I'm back. It's been a few minutes. My daughter's awake. Her door's cracked open a little bit, so you're probably going to hear her, but this is mom life. So I have done my brows. Everything that I use for my brows will be listed down below in the description bar, but I'm going to move on to the eyes. I wanted to do something kind of simple with the eyes, honestly. Um, I just want to keep everything pretty easy today, so I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury, the Eyes to Mesmerize, and Marie Antoinette. I haven't used this in a while on camera, so I'm going to apply some of this cream eyeshadow. It's very moussey. Focus camera. Is it going to focus? Spatula. This came with my uh, little palette that I put all my products on, and I use this to gather a little bit of product. Right, someone take an eyeshadow brush. Just any brush would work, and pick up a little bit of this and apply it. And it's just such a pretty color. Now, if you use a brush, you're going to pick up like this brush here is the Sigma E55. You will pick up quite a bit of product versus using a little bit with your finger, but it blends out so incredibly well and it adds so much color and dimension to your eye. Like I said, I haven't used this product in a little bit and I forgot how amazing it is. I do want to pick up some more. I think maybe during the next VIB sale, I might pick up one of the other shades. I think she's got like a rosy tone color that might be kind of nice to try. Take the same brush. I'm going to go right under the eye. I might want to look into a smaller mirror so I don't poke myself in the eye. <sighs> Take a little bit of this under the eye. Um, so I'm going to go in with the dark brown that's matte. There's three of them in there. Just any one would work. I usually use black. And I'm just going to use a an angled brush just to kind of stamp some of this here. Cuz this was mostly using like new newer to me um face products, like complexion products and not so much the eyes. something like this, like a powder really close to your lashes over a cream, it's going to stick to that cream product, which I like. And it adds that kind of depth and dimension. It's kind of hard to see these lights, um, but in person, it adds like a smokiness. It looks really nice. Mascara, falsies. I can't stop looking at that eyeshadow. That is just so beautiful. You guys have to try it. Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay for my lower lash line, as always. All right, so now that the eyes are done, I just need to add a little bit of blush. And because I have my Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a palette, I'm going to just use this because I don't think I bought any new blushes recently. I do need to because I'm tired of using the same ones. So if you guys have any blush recommendations, let me know. But I'm just going to use the one that's in this palette. Blush just makes everything better. But I feel like the more I put on or the more layering I do, the more crazy I look. 
not not a good tone for the day. And then I'm going to use Vanilla Quartz um, Shimmering Skin Perfector by Becca as my highlight today. This is not a new product. I've had this for some time. I'm just going to kind of quickly do some highlighting here. All right, so for lips, I'm going to use the Naked Blush Lipstick from Flower Beauty. I ordered this as part of my um, order. Which, by the way, I, when I placed this order in April, it took like three weeks to get the product. So if you do order directly from their site, it's going to take a while. I was kind of not too thrilled about that, but I get why um, the whole COVID thing kind of messes up the orders and fulfillment of things. So if you order from their website, just know that it's going to take a little bit of extra time, probably more than it normally does. I don't know how quickly they ship normally, but mine took about three weeks to get just a few products in. So just throwing that out there. And I'm just going to kind of pat this on. It smells kind of funny. Even though it says naked blush, I was kind of thinking it was going to be really nude, but I'm glad that it's not. It's got like a pinky tone to it, so I feel like it's a nice everyday color. It is matte. Um, I, it looks a little bit like a sheen because I had lip balm on, but um, hopefully when I try it without anything underneath that it'll be more like a comfortable mat. I don't think it's going to be drying at all, but that is it. You guys, we tried a few new products, some things that I've been wanting to try. I'm going to kind of report back on that concealer, the powder. I do really off the bat know that I like the Charlotte Tilbury color corrector. That to me was really great and i um, very impressed from the beginning. The BB thing. Mm, I don't know. I, I, I think it's the tone. I think that's what's getting me. It's the tone, the color. So I'm going to try it again, maybe mix it with my moisturizer and see what that looks like. But I feel like it didn't really do anything coverage-wise. So when I read those reviews of people using it in place of a BB cream and it has enough coverage for them to get by with that, I was really thrilled about it. But I just don't see it for me personally. And with my skin issues, I need a little bit more coverage right now. So I'm going to keep trying it. I might have to get the fair shade and see what that looks like or maybe just return it all together. I hate returning products. Um, but I may have to do it. So um, I'll keep you posted, but I will list everything down below and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing and being here and showing support. I appreciate you for taking the time to be here with me today. Have a fabulous weekend and you can follow me on social media. I have Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I'm mostly on Instagram these days and Insta stories. I post there pretty regularly. So if you want to see me off camera and just kind of life in general that we go through here day to day, then that's the place to find us. So take care, you guys. I hope you're doing well, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.